Hi guys, I'm Soumya and I'm back again with another video. So happy 2021 to you all. How are you guys? Let me know in the comments. If you are an old subscriber, then welcome back. And if you are new to this channel, then I make a lot of bookish content here. And if you are a book lover and a reader or would like to become one, then do hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell icon. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the seven books on personal development that I plan to read in 2021. They are on my radar and the simple reason for that is that in 2020 I read quite a few books from the self-help genre that I found were very helpful to me because they had a very positive impact on my mindset. So I just want to carry this habit forward in 2021 as well. Self-help books are not some magic spells that can change your life automatically once you read them. You have to be the magician of your own life and that is very very obvious. The reason for reading self-help books for me particularly is that words are pretty darn powerful and maybe I think so because I'm a reader and I love reading but in my case words have been very powerful in changing various aspects of my life words that I have read if you pick up a self-help book that has just one sentence that changes your perspective or propels you forward in a better direction then you did not waste your time at all and that's the purpose behind wanting to read these books so if you are confused about which self-help book you should go for next then do watch this video because it will be helpful. So let's get started. The first book is Atomic Habits, An Easy and Proven Way to Build Good Habits and Break Bad Ones by James Clear. So the title of this book is pretty self-explanatory that it can help the reader in building good habits and breaking the bad habits. You know, the reason I want to read this book is that I found the synopsis of this book to be rather convincing because it says that when it comes to bad habits, it's not like that we don't want to change our bad habits, but the system that we adopt to change is not always correct. Maybe this book can give me some new ideas as to how I can break my bad habits because it's like sometimes your approach is wrong and if you learn about the right approach then that can make all the difference and if this book can like help me adopt a better approach to change some of my bad habits that I really want to get rid of then I'll be so so grateful and that's why I want to read this book. The next book is Ikigai The Japanese Secret to a Long and Happy Life by Hector Garcia and Francis Miralis. So this book is massively popular, but that's not why I want to read it. I want to read it because I just like the concept of this book a lot. Everybody knows at this point that Ikigai means your reason for living or your reason to wake up every morning. And we all know about that famous diagram that has those four points what you love, what you are good at, what the world needs and what you can get paid for. An intersection of these four points can help you discover your personal ikigai and that is what this book promises to help you do. Again, I'm not expecting to magically transform into a completely different person after I read this book but the thing is that maybe this book can help me discover a starting point from where I can find my own way. The next book is The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Clayson or George S. Classen. Unfortunately, I'm not sure about the pronunciation, so please forgive me for that. The Richest Man in Babylon gives financial advices through parables or stories taking place in the ancient city of Babylon. It talks about how you can manage the money that you have and how you can make more money. So this book came out in 1926, so it was written really long ago. So it's a classic in a way and whenever I have read self-help books that were written really long ago, my experience has always been very rewarding. I mean when it comes to self-help books that were written really long ago, one might have this notion that they might be outdated but that has not been the case with the books that I have read at all. The next book is The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Albom. So Eddie is 83 years old and he dies in an accident and he is sent to heaven and there he meets five people who had a huge impact on his life when he was alive. Now this book is fiction and is written like a novel but the reason that I've included this book in this video is that I had read Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Albom and that book was amazing by the way. If you haven't read it you definitely should. That book was written in a biography slash memoir form but it had a lot of pearls of wisdom so that's what I'm expecting from this book as well and I just want to read a book that's going to make me think that's going to be thought-provoking. I mean the synopsis talks about a man who meets five people who had a huge impact on his life while he was alive. So the synopsis itself sounds so philosophical so I'm expecting that the story will be philosophical too. 
The next book is Chanakya in Daily Life by Radha Krishnan Pillai. So I've had this book forever, but I'm finally going to read this book in 2021 because you should only read a book when you are mentally prepared to read it. And I'm mentally ready for this book now. So this book is divided in three sections, personal life, professional life and family life. And this book promises the reader that it will help the reader in making decisions from how to start one's day to choosing one's career, basically decisions regarding all aspects of life. And the back cover says that the author decodes and simplifies the visionary kingmaker Chanakya's teachings from the Earth Shastra and Chanakya Niti to provide solutions for any problem that might crop up in any aspect of your life. So basically every aspect of life has been covered in this book. And if I am very honest, I am quite, quite curious as to what this book is going to be like. The next book is Fear, Essential Wisdom for Getting Through the Storm by Thich Nhat Han. So this book talks about the origins of fear and how we can deal with it, the practices that we can adopt in our lives to deal with the fear. So the reason that I want to read this book is because I struggle with anxiety and that leads to fear and it's not a pretty feeling. And if you struggle with anxiety, which in turn leads to fear, you know what I'm talking about. So the thing is, I feel that it's not realistically possible to be absolutely fearless, but if this book can help me you know gain some wisdom as to how I can control the fear that I feel then I will be super grateful because in my life in particular I think this is a very very relevant topic a very important topic out of all the books that I want to read I think this book is the most important on my list now fear is that one monster that resides within you and does not let you do anything it literally imprisons you and that sucks so I am hoping that this book is going to enlighten me when it comes to fear. The next book is Dharma Decoding the Epics for a Meaningful Life by Amish Tripathi and Bhavna Roy. So this is a self-help book but it has been written in such a manner that it has some characters who talk to each other, who converse with each other about different topics and concepts like karma, anger, humility, envy to name a few and basically they exchange ideas, they agree or disagree. I have not yet read this book, I have read the introduction and in the introduction it has been mentioned that this book does not aim to prescribe but to suggest and the readers can draw their own lessons by reading this book themselves because there are different characters talking about different topics. So I just want to read this book because it seems like this book is going to be a thought provoking read and in 2021 like that is going to be very important to me. I am in that mindset now that I want to read books like this. So let's see how I like this book. So guys these are the seven self-help books that I want to read in 2021. I hope to read them and gain knowledge and also implement that in my life because that's the main thing and that's the purpose behind this. So I hope you like this video. If you want to connect with me on my social media then the links are in the description box. I'll see you in my next video. Till then bye bye take care and stay safe.